Yeah. <laughs> 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 Having a that since Halloween. I know. Hello, everyone. Hi, everybody. I'm Steve. And I'm Mark. And this is Smokey Steve and Mark. Oh, yes, it is. Welcome or welcome back. <gasps> yes, welcome. Happy Thursday. It is Thursday. Happy New Year's Eve. Yes. At least it's New Year's Eve still here. It's, what is it, the afternoon, evening? I don't know what the hell time it is. I don't even know when it is. It's in the evening here on the 31st, mm -hmm. so... If you've already hit New Year, happy, happy. I think in Australia, it's tomorrow. Yeah. So When I got up this morning to go to work, they were celebrating New Year's in Australia on the news. I was like, oh my God, I know, I know. But we have a few more hours to go here. We do, we do. Goodbye, 2020. Oh God. It's all about, you know. We gotta shine in Bringing in the new and bringing getting in, rid of the old. Bringing in changes. Getting rid of the old things. bags, that is. Yes. No, but... As, yeah, well, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. But thank you for having me on your special today. Mark will be joining us tonight. Yeah. Because we are doing a very, uh, well, a very special caretaking. We are. We'll get into some details in a minute, but just to yeah. catch everybody up. First of all, hope everyone's well, everyone's safe. Look after yourselves, okay? You you watch the news, you know what to do. Yes. It's been It's been almost a year now. Just, please. Okay. So... Thursday night is caretaking, and last Thursday we did a live because it was Christmas Eve, and thank you everyone who came. It was yeah, very cool. Yeah, it was nice. And we end up talking about Cynthia anyway, because yep. it's a live. So, we've been doing the series caretaking now for, I want to say, 50 weeks. Almost. It's all, been a long time. It's been time. a long time. Um, and originally the series had started not just about Cynthia Beaumont, exactly. I know who doesn't know, Mark and I were fans followers of hers for a while we'd send mail back and forth stuff like that we had a falling out because she didn't like a person that we were not not friends with not enemies with yeah it was odd <laughs> so we were we were cut off at the knee um and right around when cynthia's late husband tommy beaumont um who passed away about a year ago was diagnosed with cancer and he was sick and she was charged with making health care decisions and other decisions in his interest and it happened at the time that Mark was actually having a hard time physically with his health. Yeah. And I saw them and I saw us and I'm like, I don't know if I'm going to be in the position for making healthcare decisions for you. Would I make similar ones that she was making? And it was a bit of comparison contrast back and forth. And that's kind of how caretaking, it should have been caregiving the whole time. <laughs> you caretake houses and horses, I know. <laughs> I got it wrong and it's a year later and it's too late to undo. So, talked about that. Well, a lot of people took exception to the way that Cynthia provided care for her late husband. And when he passed away, um, that she found the channel. It was, she was by herself. She was going to continue the channel. She let it be known at his diagnosis she was not quitting YouTube. So upon yeah. his passing, she made it clear Way she, before wasn't, time. <laughs> she wasn't going to quit either. So the channel became her own. And then caretaking became life after caretaking. And I was essentially just following her channel along as it developed mm -hmm. or devolved or however you want to put it for a variety of content. Everything from the Richard Simmons workout videos. They were shortly after. Makeup. Um, selling stuff. Avon. Um, arguably some e-begging. Depends who you ask. Depends who you, who got burnt. Um, she went through a period of throwing fans under the bus. Fans yeah. under the bus for content. Um, stuff like that. Stuff like that going on. And now it's gotten to these these personal legal issues with her and an alleged stalker. And, and their pending legal... Just, lots of crap. This is... Yeah. Lots of crap. We've gotten very far away <laughs> from, yeah. from where the beginning of from this... actually... It, what the intention yeah. of this was. Um, so... Where have we found ourselves <laughs> at this point? Yeah. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I had kind of said in the past that I would feel less comfortable talking about Cynthia if I thought she had some sort of mental health issue because I have several. And it's unkind, particularly unkind. I mean, if someone's just a bombastic idiot, you know, just a complete waste of life, and they're arrogant about it. I have very little problem saying that out loud to a person. Yeah. But if I think a person is is having symptoms, let me not be a... I'm not a professional. Let's say they act like me when I'm having symptoms. Okay. Not that I'm that superior and indignant often, but it happens. I usually keep my chin to myself. Um... I feel more concerned about it, more concerned about saying something about it. So I was starting to pull back, and I would mentioned in the last few weeks I was kind of feeling a little some sort of way about it. Um, you 
disagreed most of the time mm -hmm. with me when I was saying my assessment was that maybe something mentally could have been going on. And I think it's only around a few topics, i.e. Jimmy. Yeah. For who anybody doesn't know was a childhood friend of Cynthia's who they fell out of touch. By the way, I think she was 24 when he was 12. It was his childhood friend, not hers. No, she right. was a grown-ass woman yeah, hanging out was, with kids. She was grown. Jumping in the ball pit. Yeah, because so, her and her mother actually befriended him from, from what I when understand. When Tommy was dating know. either Cynthia's mother or her. Or her, one or the other. It's yeah. a private it's a private matter. Very private. Um, Don't ask Even Jimmy all. doesn't spread dirt on that. She can say what she wants about Jimmy from what I understand in the forums where he was speaking. He, that was under wraps. That was right. private. Right. So, at any rate. Um, as things are going along now, I'm feeling less and less... Even the haters seem bored. <laughs> from the different places I, I that people share information, it's... The haters seem bored. Yeah. The views are low. This month especially was Vlogmas. 24 advent calendars in 24 hours. <laughs> it was a marathon. Everything pre-recorded. Squirrels. Like, oh. Squirrels in the park. Hot tea. The most viewed videos being the drama, the, the legal drama. issues, the, the legal tea. Yeah. Um, who sent me stuff trying to, to catch haters. By saying, look at all the presents people got me. Thank you. Naming out her two biggest benefactors yeah. by name. Who I'm happy to see. Are, I am. Are uh, donating to other people online, Gifting too. Other, other creators online. I yeah. was so, so happy to see that. Yeah. I, you know, There's I... There's a couple. I don't want to put them on blast. But there were no. a couple other ones I saw that they received some nice gifts, too. So I'm happy to see that. They did. That they Marcin did. and Penny uh, spread their generosity around. Yeah. You know. They're, um, yeah. They're... Yeah, absolutely. I was very happy to see. I'm sure Cynthia wasn't, but I was. I was very happy to see that. <laughs> but I was. I was glad to see that it's not exclusive. That it's not because the people, the other people that they're being generous with, aren't trying to be manipulative, right? Which means that they can kind of they know what they're doing. It's their money to do with as they sure. please. But it also has to me they kind of know what they're doing, well, right? Sort of. So right. I mean, I I don't trust their judgment, but it's not my money to judge and use, right? Me. You know what yeah. I mean? So. At any rate, hearing about it is nauseating. <laughs> Three days of presence is nauseating. Ten videos off of one trip to the Dollar Tree is nauseating. It's and nauseating. views seem to be down across the board. Now, she's much more prolific in making videos. There's about five a day. Yeah. But views are not as high. No. Nope. One might suggest that because she's come into a little bit of money, um, that she doesn't need to make as many videos, doesn't want to make as many videos, doesn't have to make as many videos. And so she doesn't. Um, or doesn't put time into them or effort or, no. uh, I mean, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But I, I know. you know, the, the gifting ones yeah. where, you know, I really take issue with, and it's not so much that people were very kind, you know, and generous to her. It is her smug attitude Mm -hmm. when she opens the presents and she has said repeatedly mm -hmm. oh this is these are going to make my haters just so happy uh smug smug attitude uh and nothing about gratitude towards the people who took time and money and effort to send her something you know to um, plan to all of that yeah. you know it was it was never about uh feeling gracious you know um, yeah and, 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 and that was a shame with that uh, series of videos, I should say. You know? Yeah. The endless greed that, that right. just permeates, it's, there's a few threads that seem to go through, is, um, I don't know how much more I <laughs> have to say about it. Right. It's just an endless pit of more, more, gimme, gimme. There is no such thing as enough. Now, I, I'm a recovering addict. Well, if you count nicotine, current, but otherwise, recovering. Um, I get the idea of no amount is enough, yeah. but I mean, for a, however six figure amount that's been thrown around that she may have received from Tommy's retirement mm -hmm. that he worked years for, if you're a spending an addict, that's gone. It's gone. Yeah. It's gone. And then what? Back to begging for bologna? And well, bread? you know, and the, and the fact that she repeatedly denies and, and, and lies about the income that she does have, which that is her business. That yeah. is absolutely her business, but she, but she will constantly put it into her viewer's face mm -hmm. that she has no money. So, whereas it is her business, why say anything at all? Well, it's everyone's why business when she's broke. Yeah. And it's nobody's business when she wants to take a singles cruise. 
Okay. Who's going to pay for that one? Have a nice fucking time, right? Yeah. So, all you men out there, watch out. Run the other way. Watch out. Cynthia's on the prowl. In her size flaws, flip flops. On so, prowl. just to review over the last week, aside from my general yeah, we, we're whatever. Yeah, we're getting up to speed on what yeah. happened. We'll get up to speed briefly. Okay. Uh, honestly, because Vlogmas was mixed in, you didn't miss too much. Yeah. Squirrels, we know the ongoing thing with the squirrels in the park, and she's feeding them. The spectacle. Okay. <laughs> Christmas, she's baking again with the turkeys. Avon, Christmas gifts for me, parts one, two, and, and three. three. There is altogether about an hour and a half's worth of footage of her opening gifts for herself to herself, probably. Um, yeah. And then videos of her and Tommy that she put out. Right. Those and were, it's unfortunate. I, it kind of caught me off guard because it says Merry Christmas last year was the best. It's the last one she spent with Tommy, yeah. so it may feel the best. Yeah. I can't imagine him being on chemo was the best Christmas ever. No, that was... I, <laughs> I imagine, remember it. I it imagine was... there was probably some other really nice ones in the past, but this was the most recent, and it's her first holidays without him, so... Yeah. And there's so few of those, like, kind of memorial uh, videos. There was none. Annie Janney had to do one before Cynthia even I tried. Know, before she even tried. And that shit show know, was even better than was <laughs> As opposed <laughs> to the other uh, yeah. content, other riveting, riveting content, you know, spraying sailing of her nose. Which is what we got to next. Three in a row, nasal flush, which she called douching. Two, three. Um, nose douche. I, she's killing, all together, they got maybe 1,200 or so views. Now, I'm not throwing out views numbers to say Ours are higher. Oh, no. We know on the feeding. We're a small channel. On the totem pole, yeah. our channel is like a fifth her size. Yeah. And there's channels our size that do more views on other videos. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking of like Ms. Huzzy, who I love and who yeah. I wish she knew who Cynthia was. <laughs> I know, right? But I'm not that guy. Right. So um, there's other channels that pull more. What I'm thinking is for a channel her size and for the number of subscribers she has to have hundreds of views on videos is low. Well, yeah, it is. It um, is. The video, my stalker attacked a man with a spiked mace. Small child was involved. Now, she will... <laughs> Boy, she's, that's, she's trying to get the views, man. So, and she did. 2K. Yeah. She got 2K. Yeah. In views. That's, you know, that's what it is. Um, but th the issue she's talking about here, and these were the, the things that got the most jumping and the most discussion in places where Cynthia has discussed hate forums, according to her, that... You know, whatever fate Jimmy is going to be in, because he's found himself in apparently some legal issues in another state, in a totally separate issue. Yeah. In another incident. And Cynthia's acting like these consequences are, like, happening because of her. Like, yeah. she, she'll, like, leave shit out so that her less than, you know, subscribers kind of think, like, yeah, look, he's getting his. Yeah. Or she'll say, she'll claim it's karma or something else. So... So she's reveling in it. This is more than justice for her that she wants for oh, yeah. the wrong is... that she's had. This is revenge. And, you know, like you said, there's justice mm -hmm. and everyone is entitled to justice. If she's been it. wronged legally, Absolutely, yes, she's... they are. And he should be held accountable for And then there's it. outright... <laughs> she wants him drawn and quartered at noon. Yeah. You know, she wants hung, uh, you know, uh, whatever. Yeah, and and and... If you and this is where you were touching upon the mental illness part. Exactly. This is where it treads into is she losing touch with reality? Yeah. Because she writes these stories in her head that are like I I don't know who she thinks she is in the narrative either. Like I, I don't know. And it's almost like she changes. I mean, like her She does, she slips face, into another her, Everything. Her chin you know. wagon. Did you see her in the park in the recent video, Living Her Best Life? Someone came up and said hello. She nodded and stared at the ground. She doesn't have that... That face doesn't exist outside of probably a public bus and YouTube. Yeah. You know. Yeah. But anyway, she cleared her nose a few more times. Like five times. Mm. Pusheen box. Okay. Mm. Pusheen. This is a grown ass woman. I know. Um, hot tea time. Let's And hard time. Let's count the years he will do. I think they call it, what is it, Schadenfreude in German? You take pleasure in the misfortune of others? Yeah. Dorothy, if you're out there, you're in the back I sometimes. Think... Anyone else? I think that's it. Anyone else speaks German, check Dor me. The... For... Yeah, I think you're right. I can't pronounce it. I, I can't pronounce, it. I, I can't pronounce right. it. I took German for like a semester. More gifts naming Marchine and Joyce by name. I usually wouldn't, but she titled them in a video. Cat's marshmallow bed. 
Our cat got a nice new bed, actually, oh, for Christmas. Yeah. It was a rather nice gift. It was very nice. More Pusheen shit. Um, a short time to get out and celebrate. I said no to Betty, so apparently Betty was going to take her shopping, and Cynthia said no, because she's a spiteful little bitch. Oh, yeah, she showed her. So, I'll show you. I'll the pay more for having my groceries that, delivered. Is the last person that, that... Last person that gives a flying shit. And I'll, No, don't worry about it. Whatever. And then we have... Squirrel stuff, and then she's in the park, and then whatever. Last so, time I go to the park. If only. There's... Ugh, okay. So... So, like I had said, if she was mentally ill, if she was having some mental health issues, which it does seem like she does when she talks about certain issues. Certain issues? Like, like when she wanted us dead? Well, yeah. Well, the thing is, though, I don't think she's wrapped too tight, so I never took her too seriously. Oh, no, I didn't either. But to see that video mm -hmm. and to see her getting up into the camera with the lines on her face face and the, and the she wants and the them grit. to die she wants them to feel every ounce of pain and not more that tommy felt and she then named uh, we were we were we were one we were she one. named a, a bunch of people candy you know. who's way off the radar candy's like you doing know, other stuff now. um and threatened and wished everybody dead and you know it was very intense and like almost as if she were possessed yeah so I I don't really have like too much time for that. No, no. So then what does that leave me with on the other side? Um I made an effort you know, no bullshit, made an effort to try to put more of a positive sort of spin on some of the stories that go on in her life. Try to give it some context. Try to explain it, not excuse it. And like, well, she's she's grieving. Well, it's it's she's, you know, in a rough spot. Well, yeah. maybe she is broke. Try to give her the benefit of the doubt. Every time I've tried to give Cynthia the benefit of the doubt, it just blows up. Yeah. It just blows up. She does something snarky. She shows she's learned nothing. You know, that she's not mature. Yeah. What 50-year-old wants a fucking PS5? You know what I mean? Like, like I that want, bad. I like, would have wanted one when I was like fourteen, but not enough to cry on the internet about it. Cried more for the for that PlayStation than she did for her husband. I I was all, almost shocked. I did watch that video, mm -hmm. and I was like, "Are you kidding me?" And then in her Amazon wish list, which is posted everywhere, these items are greatly, greatly needed. Mm -hmm. PlayStation 5. And then under that it says, these items have not been bought. The haters don't want to see me happy or see people buy me anything. She really thinks she's that. So thing. stop putting things on my gift list. Like, entitled is the only word I yeah, can I can, I can think of. Yeah. And for what? Who? Nobody earns a PS5. Nobody deserves a PS5. Mm. That's not the kind of thing you earn. It's not the kind of thing, you, you know, if you have a job and you make money, sure. But it's very comfortable to say, when you have a bunch of sources of income from here, 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 and here. Let's say you bring in four grand a month and $150 of that is from YouTube. <laughs> you can't say I work for all my money and I can buy whatever I want. I mean, yeah. you can, but you're an idiot <laughs> because so little of that money you earned and the rest of it is handed to you. There are people yeah. who live off of pensions, spouses, pensions, government assistance, social security, for disabilities, for any reasons. And there is nothing wrong with any of that. And right. yes, you do deserve a treat. But do you have the nerve to come and cry about it? Yeah. And hope someone's going to feel bad and buy it for you? Buy a $500 high-ticket item? It is. After you got $400 stakes? It's manipulation. <laughs> manipulation. I think even Marcine pushed back on it and said, you know, there's a lot of needy people this time of year. And there are. There's people there's out there. Needy, this entire year, there were food lines that were unbelievable. Yeah. Unbelievable. And you give some ramen to a church a couple years ago, you stingy bitch. And then you decide that you're like a hero. Yeah. So I don't. This and is they the, did not send me a thank you note. Yeah. Is that what you did it for? Can you do it without mentioning it? Can you do it without the thank you note? Probably. And, you I know, don't know. I, I don't know. On the subject of that, I suppose this is on the subject. I wrote a couple things down that I wanted to get off my chest, <laughs> Mark, I guess. Because Mark I, a few I, I'm a little I, more I just, I'm a little more over it. Mark's a little more Well, I haven't had the opportunity to it. talk about it. Well, no, know, I, I pretty last... much do this yeah, part of it. Know. And then Right. 
I don't so. know. So I, I have, I just want to, you know, I, I'm not, not, I just have a couple little points like, oh, I want to remember to say that. And this is because... where Mark takes the gloves off. Oh, no, I'm not <laughs> like that. But I, I am, I am disgusted with her manipulation um, and her uh, ingratefulness, you mm -hmm. know, um, we were talking earlier and, you know, the thought came up. Do you think that she ever ever would think okay this person's been so kind to me this person's been so nice she's had a channel for what 10 years now about i mean she has to know some of her viewers she i mean you know like after that long did would she ever send them a thank you like a, a birthday card would she ever like if somebody sent her something that she couldn't use would she donate that to somebody else who's in need mm -hmm. you know I don't know, but I'm I'm thinking not, you know, I, I don't know. For Cynthia, it's all take, 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 and she never gives back. I think if she made a huge, huge big deal about two things, her giveaway, she was going to have a big giveaway, a shout out on her channel. And the Christmas card giveaway? And the Christmas card giveaway? Coupon. A coupon. And then she has, and then the canceled attitude. it after and everyone. Then canceled it after everyone already sent their cards to her. Canceled, canceled it so it. she doesn't have to send any back. I think that is just awful. And you know, I, I, I you, see, I'm already starting to get hot. See, I can is, feel like you think he's a nice one. I'm the nice one. You think he's the nice hot. one because he's got the sugar cookie voice and the big smile. <laughs> Me, I'm well, the nice I mean, one. I have opinions like everyone else. Of you course, know. of course. I mean, now there's. It's different, and I can't explain the difference, and this may be why I held out longer in her favor. We used to roll with Cynthia, mm -hmm. as much as you roll with people you send things up. Yeah. Gift back and forth, homemade things back and forth, yeah. and, and it was cool. And like I said, we split over something that was so juvenile and so stupid that it didn't even... On her so side, dumb. of course. But we used to, and we would get like... Maybe a thank you card back. Yeah, we got a thank I think you we got card. A, I think we got a St. Patrick's Day card. Like, those things were happening because it was, like, back and forth. We were back and forth. But that Cynthia is not the same Cynthia mm -hmm. that that we're all watching now. No, something this was happened. Something very, very different happened. And, you know, uh, on the... Made her more bitter, more her, jaded, more, more paranoid. Yeah. yeah. Um, everyone's out to get her. She assumes people have hidden bad motives when they, like, when they, say hello to her and exactly, talk to her. Exactly. For, like, example, the giveaway. So after she had some flack about that, yeah. you know, she came back and said, oh, I won't do giveaways. I don't give do giveaways at all because all that is is bribing, bribing, bribing subscribers. my subscribers. Maybe for you it is, mm -hmm. but it's not. When we do giveaways, and I mean, we're not everybody, but we we try to find ways to give back to our viewers, yeah. to people who watch us and support us. And one of the ways that it seems like a no-brainer is to try to have some giveaways, yeah. you know? Uh, you know, give away a gift card here or, or a prize or something of some sort. And we yeah. do. We do them quite often mm -hmm. because I personally want to give back in some way. It is in no way trying to bribe our viewers. <laughs> but for her, Cynthia can't imagine any other motives than her own. Yeah. She wouldn't do it unless she was trying to buy bribe. Yeah. Viewer. So she can't assume anyone else would have any other intentions than hers. And hers are have consistently revealed themselves to be not very nice. Yeah. Right. So to the to that end, um do you have some more to say? No, I mean I can I can I can go on for two more hours. I could too. You but know this what is I mean, another but... part of it. How much of my energy do I want to continue to invest in this dead end? This is true. I mean it is. It is a dead end. And for a person like I, you know, I've already covered the things that irk me. You know, ungrateful and 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 she's not uh, changing the narcissistic personality that she has. And she did get me on diet on kids. She did. She did. Um, and you know, I took very. I there were two except there, two things that really did it for me. And one was when she repeatedly said that all of her fans are replaceable they are expendable and replaceable and unfortunately she's she's right because she buys her views she buys her subscribers you know chunks at a time uh you can do that i was shocked when i learned i didn't even know you could do that well you can freeze it on social blood but and other what, places so people what, can't see how what 
what does she think of her viewers? What does she think of her fans, as she calls them? What, you know, what does she truly think of them? They are. They're expendable. She don't care. If you're not, if you're not doing something for Cynthia, you are of no use to her at all. And it really was like, I don't know, because we have, on our channel, we have a very different view of our viewers. You know, we don't, I never thought of them in that, in that way. Like, like you're not, oh, they're just expendable, replaceable. Like, I, like um, viewers owe you nothing. Nothing. As far as I'm concerned. No. Like, it's, it's a, it's generous to watch our ads, <laughs> you know? Well, yeah, it is. We, we, <laughs> it's certainly generous to, to send a card or to yes, se is. send a gift or, or anything like that. It's not all part of the gig. No. You know? It's, it's not part of the paycheck. It's not like I'm on YouTube and YouTubers are supposed to get presents and I didn't get one in the mail today. I usually get one every day. That's, that was, yeah, that was another one, that video where she, oh, oh, the worst day, something horrible happened to, the mail didn't come. <coughs> Sorry, did that coughing embarrass you? <laughs> Speaking of coughing, though, mm -hmm. that was the second one for me. Yeah. When Tommy, when she was filming, she made Tommy be there for, during, when he was at the end there, and she made him in there, subscribe, she made him do all of this stuff. And she was talking about something stupid, and he was in the background, and, and she he was, started choking. She was, or like, choking. throat deep into a corn dog. Yeah, exactly. And he was <clears throat> coughing, and then he couldn't stop. He was having a very bad, bad time of it. She told him to shut up, and she told him, oh my god, this is so embarrassing, and was dead serious about it. Mm-hmm. I was done. I yeah. was done at that point. That was my... Now, that was, that was a year ago now, but I, that so, shows a person's true colors. So I'm you, so embarrassed. And he's... He's right there. Right there. All hooked up. Leaning forward. I'm in pain. I know, but the camera can't see you. I just couldn't take it, but... No, no. What, what has been seen yours. cannot be unseen. No. By me. No. So... So here's the bottom line for, for all of this. A couple things. Um, caretaking as a series, due to <laughs> due to me, has been canceled. Yeah. The series has been canceled. The big cancel stamp. Kaboom. Gone. Cynthia, you've been canceled. I'm sorry. Um, however, it is not out of the realm of possibility that a special would pop up here or there, given certain hot topics that might oh, yeah. come up that are a passion to me. Mm -hmm. To draw a distinction, I also review Foodie Beauty, uh, Chantal Marie, mm -hmm. the big, beautiful Chantalopolis, whatever the fuck she's going by this week. <laughs> her reviews will continue, and yeah. they're different because the issues I have around Chantal are not with her. It's the issues she has are similar to mine. Mm -hmm. We have co-occurring mental health, addiction, other stuff. So there's more content there for me. This is just watching a woman feed squirrels and, and eat on her anger right. and... Think she's going to show the whole world and sit alone in a filthy apartment. Cats and and cats, cats that don't have litter. They have plastic bags. It's but just I think, I'm, you know, I'm I, right. So I think going forward, it's probably best because you hear how like I'm a little more agitated in this one. I'm a little less giving her the benefit of the doubt. It's more like you nasty old whatever to hell with you. Yeah, that's kind of where I'm at with this, mm -hmm. and I'm not that guy. But Cynthia takes people to dark places. <laughs> that's the point. That's what I wanted to say. You that's know? what I've heard so many haters yes. say. So many people that we receive a lot of uh, correspondence about the different series that we do. And yeah. she, she's one of them. And we've gotten a lot of response. The majority of which has been very supportive about no longer doing caretaking. Yeah. Um, uh, they understand. And, you know, and we probably, I hope we don't. But maybe some folks might leave. You know, I hope not. But, hey. It might happen. Um, but, you know, I think Cynthia, for me personally, takes me to a place that I don't want to go. She makes me very, very angry. She makes me very bitter. I get to a place in my mind where I start thinking very awful things about her and puts me in a bad mood. It's called negativity. Mm -hmm. And she is able to bring that out in me. And I don't want that in my life. So moving forward into the new year... I don't want that in my life, nor do I personally want to promote it. Yeah. You know, I, 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 you know, and then there's two ways of looking at that too, from, from the correspondence we got to, because yeah. people had all different types of views. And, uh, one of them was, was, oh, one of them was very nice. I don't know if I showed it to you yet or not, but they said, you know, um, 
do you want your channel mm -hmm. uh, or your brand or your whatever you want to call what Smokey Stephen Mark is, you mm -hmm. know, like what our, our channel, yeah. um, do you want that to be like associated with that type of negativity and that type of person, yeah. whether you're reviewing her, whether you're reacting to her, yeah. whether you're hating on her, whatever it is that you are doing, do you want to? And I was like, I really don't. Mm -hmm. I, I really don't, you know? Um, so, but really, you know, we're about positivity here mm -hmm. and, uh, she has nothing positive to offer. Yeah. In my opinion. So that's the, that's the bottom line for where things are. How long did we, half an hour? Half an hour. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. We're talking your ear off. So at any rate, that's the, that's the situation where it stands. Um, next week there will not, I don't know what the hell we're putting in place of this. Yeah. I want to tell you, I've, I want to tell you I've been playing something great, but I don't know what the fuck we're talking about. We, when you I, have like a clean slate, it's hard to just, it'll like, still be ooh. me on Thursdays because Mark still works late Thursdays. So uh, it'll be the Steve show. We just don't know what. Feel free to leave suggestions below. Ooh, the Steve below. show. I like that. We don't have to name every day of the okay. week after All freaking right. something. It's, okay. We're not a network yet. No, we're not. Um, <laughs> and that's what we will fill it in with. In the meantime, as sort of a cleansing ritual, as we are going into the new year and to clean ourselves of all things Beaumont and just put it out there. Now, mind you, just before we get into the cleansing ceremony, um, we do lives. I yeah. still watch Cynthia. If you come into a live and you talk about caretaking or you talk about Cynthia, you're not going to get blocked. No, you're not going to get struck. This is not a Cynthia free zone. No, your comments no. aren't going to get taken no. away. All we're saying is that it's not going to be the weekly series anymore, but I'm still watching. We can still gab about it. it it's totally cool. This is just on my end. It's going to not be a weekly series anymore. Yeah. Okay. So in the interest of cleansing ourselves, I have a few things we're going to throw on the fire. We here. lit our fire. We lit the fire. And this is just to let go of the old year and for us to shine going into the new year. And what part of that is leaving toxic series behind. Yes. So first thing to go on the fire, of course, is a diet sun kissed. Bye. Goodbye. Whoosh. Next. What do we got? <laughs> hammer. <laughs> Ciao, Hammer. What do we got <laughs> next? Nail, Nail polish. polish for what do we got next? Hair dye. Hair, blonde hair dye from Dollar Tree. See ya, crispy hair. Next. Eggs. Not for nothing. I didn't mean to make smelly old fat lady comments, but would you share an apartment, a small one, with a woman who ate a dozen eggs a day? Oh. Just saying. Mm -hmm. Size 12 men socks. <laughs> On the fire. A light up tiara. Goodbye, Tierras. Another Tierra. Another Tierra. Barrettes. Goodbye. Can of Pam. Whoosh. Pam! Pam! Goodbye. And of course, Mother's <laughs> Little Helpers. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. So I feel rejuvenated <sighs> at this point. Um, Good. We're going to leave this here. I have no parting words for Cynthia directly other than have a nice life. Um... And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the series. I'm keeping it up. I'm not taking it down. I'm not taking any kind of moral high road with this. No. The series will stay up. All the videos are monetized. Yeah. It's just going forward. It's not something I'm going to be doing weekly. Mm -hmm. So thank you guys who have watched this and who've been yes. supportive of this series. Thank you. It was one of the things that actually taught me a little bit about trying to make videos mm -hmm. better. Um, about note taking, about watching videos, about trying to make sure I kept details. You guys have picked up details I've missed in other videos, so it makes me be more diligent. So it's helped me be, I think, a little bit of a better creator, at least in that. Mm -hmm. Even if the content was crap, I was still trying to get the process better. Yeah. And it helped me get more comfortable on camera because I'd be doing half an hour stints of just, <laughs> just me yapping. <laughs> so thank you for the support with that. I hope you continue to support the channel. I can appreciate some folks who maybe only came for Thursday, yeah. and I can understand that. Um, hopefully, you'll stay for the rest of what we got, too. Yeah. So, that's well, all like I... you said, too, you never know. There might be a special in the future, because, my goodness, we have a court date coming up. We have a court date. We have, we have a, uh, you know, a woman on the prowl looking for that, for a man. Yeah. Cougar alert. Cougar alert. Cougar alert, and then some court stuff coming. Yeah, so there's you never bound, know. You never It's know. bound to come up. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. bound to come up. Um... So, I mean, yeah, stay tuned. Yeah, stay tuned. 
So thank you all for watching. Thank you for being here as well. You're Mark. welcome. Of course. Please do subscribe. Hit the like button and the bell on your way out so you can get all the alerts. You can follow Mark and I on Facebook at Smoky Steve Space and Mark or on Instagram at Smoky Steve and Mark or on Twitter at Smoky Steve A. Our email address and our contact information is also listed all down below. Thank you again, and we will catch up with you tomorrow. Yes, we will. New Year's New Day. New Year's Day. Happy New Year's, everybody. Celebrate safely, Yes, please. celebrate so safely. We hope you have a really fun evening planned and a fun day tomorrow planned. Definitely, definitely. Mm -hmm. In with the new, out with the old bags, man. <laughs> Remember, stay safe, stay well, but above all else, stay positive. Ciao, everybody. Bye. Thank you.